There's a section in the book where Alan Conway is getting on a train to Suffolk and a fan comes up to him and says, you know, I do love your books. Can I have a selfie? Will you autograph a book? And he, of course, dismisses her and runs onto the train because he is that sort of writer. I do love interacting with my readers. I mean, I'm on Twitter, I go to lots of schools, I go to festivals all over the world and talk about murder fiction. And it is one of the great pleasures of being a writer to be able to talk to the public and for people to come up to me and say, you know, I guessed that little bit or I didn't guess that bit. It's also quite handy that as I'm not often on camera, not many people actually do recognise me. So I, I'm not stopped every minute or every day by somebody who wants to know, you know, who did it or why I wrote something the way I did. Why do people buy my book, Susie? Because they want to know who did it. Well, yes, that's exactly my point. Seven months of my time, 90,000 words, just to find out it was the butler. <laughs> well, I certainly don't see myself in Alan Conway, who is an absolutely horrible man. What's interesting about him is he's a writer who doesn't really enjoy writing, whereas I am passionate about it. I love writing. So I'd hate to be compared to Alan Conway. Am I like Atticus Punt? No, I don't think I am, really. I'm not somebody who I think could solve a murder. I can create them perfectly well, but I, I don't think I'd be able to solve them like Atticus Punt. And is there anybody in the book that I actually could say is similar to me? Maybe Brent the Gardener. No, not even him, he's awful. There's nobody. <laughs>